it's Deb with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope you are doing well and I hope that this general reading finds you safe. All right, so go ahead and check out the description box, y'all. There's information regarding how to contact me, my social media links, and also timestamps. If you utilize any of that information, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell. Appreciate the energy exchange. Let's get started. First house, the house of self. This is related to your ambition, your drive, your body, and your identity. Also known as like your sun, sun sign. Well, most people it's like your, your sun sign. So definitely check that out in your natal chart. It's got something to do with how you represent yourself, how you're represented in the world as well. Okay. Capricorn, the 10th sign of the zodiac, the third earth sign. It occurs in winter equinox. So here we go. So basically with the Capricorn, the Capricorn energy is associated with ambition, practicality, responsibility, hard work, common sense, patience, and a sense of uh, organization. So Capricorn is an earth sign, so you got to think about that. That's like the energy of grounding. I know we're dealing with this energy a lot in a lot of aspects right now with the planets, but you definitely want to check and see if it's in your natal chart so you can see where it's affecting you the most, okay? Jupiter. This is the largest planet in our solar system. It's also associated with luck, benefits, and opportunities. It can, um, you know, be something that is positive depending on what is in your, where it's, what signs are in your chart when it comes to Jupiter. So definitely check that out. Um, it's interesting because I'm getting this energy. Like, I feel like, because we had um, Capricorn and now we got Jupiter. So this might have something to do with some money or finances, like some actual physical, tangible things that are about to come into your life. So definitely, again, like I said, this is going to resonate for people that actually have this in their in their natal chart and and check where it's at. So then, you know, for sure that this is your story. OK. What's the news? I don't know. I'm seeing water energy. And then we got the high priestess. And we got the chariot card. Kept. So we got Pisces and Cancer right here. Um, somebody, somebody is being guided in some way when it comes to their higher self. Um, maybe somebody is leaving something. Some sorrow alone. They're stepping into a better emotional state because i did see the eight of cups yeah somebody's learning from their past wounds healing their past wounds when it comes to their emotions so it don't matter if you're a earth sign or what sign you are okay let's keep going queen of swords energy Okay, this is a studious energy. This is someone who does the research, does the, uh, just trying to dig in to figure out stuff. It also can be somebody who's a gossiper or somebody who likes to spread a lot of lies just to keep drama going. So we're going to pull some more cards and see what this is talking about. Hermit. So this is Virgo energy. Um... I feel like this is more studious now because the hermit is a very studious energy. This is, it's almost like being in council with the spirit guides. Like you're um, really tapped into like a higher level of learning when you're in hermit energy. Don't matter if you're a Virgo or not. Because it's like when you're by yourself. Yeah, exactly. Being by yourself is allowing you to really tap into your higher self. Didn't I tell you guys? So with this high priestess energy, your intuition is on point. So your discernment is up to princess of this. 
there might be a situation where your finances is kind of low right now or you might not have everything that you would like to have but I feel like you're still being provided for by the universe because the princess of this is still somebody who they they need someone to provide for them or they still need assistance or they're still kind of struggling okay the six of swords yeah it's almost like the more that you move away the more that your finances is going to start picking up because it's like the again the hermit in the six of six of swords is showing like a lot of spiritual guidance that's happening to you so it's like okay this is princess of swords why is this why is this here Okay, so this Princess of Swords ain't nothing good, y'all. Because look, the Five of Swords and a set then came out as I'm shuffling this up. I feel like this person is trying to start something. I feel like somebody is being nosy and they're trying to get into your business because you're ascending. Because whoever I'm talking to, you're ascending with this Hermit and all, these, all this energy coming in. High Priestess. And this person is trying to block your way. Yeah. See? They're trying to block your way from moving forward. Yeah. Okay, well, let's keep going. The way that they're trying to block you is trying to keep your support from coming in for you, but that's not going to work. Yeah, or try to make it so that it's hard for you to come up with finances, maybe mess with your job if you have a job, or mess with the people that give you money, stuff like that. Just whoever this person is, they're already in a... Uh, poverty mindset themselves so they can't get themselves out of that so they feel like everybody else needs to feel the same way as them so this person is a very envious person i feel they're jealous envious and they can be very manipulated manipulative at times okay yeah see the moon this is behind the scenes so this person ain't gonna come off as that way in your face could be a libra gemini aquarius or they might have it in their chart <clears throat> but they're not gonna come off as manipulative to your face this person does it behind the scenes show self-love to yourself because you are the emperor i knew whoever i was talking to was the emperor and keep on going forward in this journey that you're you're taking because i feel like you're taking a risk in something or you want to take a risk with somebody and somebody trying to tell you something about this person and it's not true this this person is a hater this princess of swords they're not doing nothing they talking about a high priestess come on now what's this uh hermit card what i just say bingo ace of scarabs i'm trying to tell you this is the opportunity of a lifetime but there is going to be conflict and it's only because this is worth it okay the five of swords i feel like this is not for child's play okay with the scribe of scepters that's what i heard this is not for child's play so even though maybe you are like a person that likes to have fun or joke around because this is almost equivalent to the prince of wines over here i feel like this person is very serious I don't think that they like to play around with things, especially when it comes to like people playing with people's names, De defamation of character. I told y'all about defamation of character before in the past and other readings It's already manifested in other people's lives, but I'm still getting this energy where people don't play about that. Okay. So I don't know what this person is going to do. They might even try to take this person for something, take them to court or something like that. The four of unks, yeah, I don't know. The community, something something about, okay. Because the four of unks can mean, like, somebody not being interested in something. So it's like, if, the, if you got this princess of swords around you, this person might reject your offer because they don't want to be connected to somebody who's going to cause a lot of problems in the future. This person don't want to give and take to something that they feel like is going to be a problem with the community okay so this person is not dramaful they're the top total opposite of this princess of swords this high priestess energy what's this high priestess exactly this is your empress though i'm telling you this is the bona fide empress and this empress 
will cut out anything that's not standing in the truth. I told you. The, wor the world card and the ace of swords. They're not taking no prisoners. This this person is straightforward. Whoever this is and I'm talking about, this high priestess, this empress energy. Very straightforward. They definitely probably got Pisces in their chart. Okay, it could be a Pisces I'm talking about or a Cancer. Oh, it could be a Scorpio too. But I feel like if you don't take this uh, action, you could feel like you're going to be stuck in a situation that you regret it. And you regret it because, look, the Three of Swords is right here. It's going to feel like you betrayed yourself dealing with this Princess of Swords energy is what I'm getting. If you continue to listen to them. Because whoever this is might be dependent with this Princess of Dis energy. It could be that they need some type of money, some type of finances from you or something like that. <clears throat> And they want this prince or they want this empress to come off as they're the ones that need some type of finance and some type of money. Like they're trying to switch energies or something, try to make it seem like they're the person you need to deal with when your empress is right here. The, the straightforward one. What's this princess to do? Okay. Warrior of Unks. Yeah. The Warrior of Unks is somebody who's still open to emotions but they're very guarded about their emotions they they're not open up fast they don't give their emotions fast yeah so whoever this person is they might be very guarded like they don't even show you emotions they just run around telling you about other people and who you shouldn't talk to and why you shouldn't talk to them but this person is not this is like a kind of like a harsh person or they try to come off like i'm trying to protect you yeah they might also be, oh, queen of scepters, king of scepters. This could have been somebody that you was connected to already from a past life or something like that. Somebody you still connected to. That's why it's being, there's an energy of you need to move away, the six of swords energy. Let's see. Yeah. Warrior scepters, yeah. Somebody needs to take some passion and move forward. The eight of swords. You feel stuck. You feel stuck in this energy. There's another card. Hold on. Yep, you're trying to come out of bondage. The devil in reverse. Yeah. You got to move away. That's the only way that you're going to be able to get out of your head about the situation and to free yourself from this bondage. Of possibly your emotions being used, the King of Cups energy. This person, they give you excitement, though. The Warrior Receptors, they give you excitement. They give you this thrill. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you like thrill. You like a lot of action. You like to travel. You like to do a lot of things. This person fulfills that, but you don't want anything boring. You want something that's balanced in all. There's judgment right here, so that means that something is about to balance itself out. Okay, the truth is about to come out. You're about to see because karma is going to be rendered to everybody involved in this situation, okay? What is this king of dis? Whoa, the king of cups, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Somebody wants to have a happy home. The Ten of Onks. This King of Cups, you want to have a happy home? This Emperor? You want to be able to collaborate with somebody. You want to communicate with this person. Whoever this is. I don't know if this is this High Priestess energy that you are trying to talk to. And you want to start a project with them or something. We'll see. Yeah, that's who you want to offer this to. You're afraid they're not going to accept it. I knew it because of this person. The people that's in the community. Keep going. Okay. The two of wands. Somebody got to make a choice and a decision. The five of scepters. Is you going, what, you, what you going to do? You going to deal with this? Or are you going to deal with this? The four of scepters, which is happiness. The ten of scarabs. Yes. To Hootie right there. Exactly. So there's some commitment that's on the table if you decide to go this path. But if not, there's going to be a lot of conflict and there's going to just be a lot of just extraness that's going on is what I'm feeling right here. It's going to be heavy burdens. We kept seeing these cards. What's this king of this? 
Whoa, these ones to show right away. Okay, the Empress. So, do you feel like somebody is guarded? You feel like this Empress is guarded? Um, but something is about to change because look. The King of Unks and the King of Cups is the same. And then with the Pyramid card coming out, it's saying that something is about to change about the situation. Because I feel like you guys are, this is this is seen eye to eye. This person, it don't matter if they're male or female, they have, they can come to you in the same energy that you come, is the energy that I'm, come, that I'm saying. Because we did see the two of Unks. So this Empress energy... They can stand in their masculine energy if they need to, or they can come in their feminine. But I feel like they're going to meet you where you need to meet at. It's going to shock you, maybe, because you feel like this person too guarded. Or they protect themselves too much. They don't want to come out and have fun. Maybe you even feel like this person kind of boring or something. But they guard themselves because they have a lot that they're protecting behind the scenes. Okay, them sheep right there. This is a this is a leader as well. So this person has the same type of uh, responsibilities as you possibly. That's the difference between this person, this empress, and this princess of swords. This princess of swords don't got nothing to lose. That's why they they spend their time talking about people and stuff. What's this prince of wands? Wow, the four of scepters. I feel like once you get past all of this and you're able to, if you do choose to go down this, it's going to be a fun thing. You guys are actually going to have fun. It's like this princess of swords is trying to put in your ear this person is boring, but this person don't even probably know them. They just going off of some pictures or something. I don't know. But what I'm telling you is this about to be beautiful, bro. This is about to be beautiful. It's going to be a lot of fun included in this union or this dynamic, this, you know, household, however y'all want to see it. But I feel like it's going to be successful if you do decide to go down this path. So this is what I got for y'all. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell. Appreciate the energy exchange. Till next time, talk to you later. Deuces.